Hey folks, it's Sean Jordan from the Research and Planning Group here, and I'm gonna take a couple of minutes to show you how to use ChatGPT to make you a lot better at email, especially if you're like me and tend to write a lot of detail when someone asks you a question. So there's an old saying you might have heard that I didn't have time to write you a short letter, so I wrote you a long one. The idea of that quote is that being concise and to the point takes more time and attention than simply writing out all your thoughts. But what if you could have ChatGPT take those longer thoughts and distill them down into something simple? So here's an example. I'm a marketing research professional, and I've received an email from a client asking me to explain a statistical question in a report I wrote. And I, being a researcher, want to explore every avenue that that question affords. My response is not very elegant, nor is it brief, and I go into a lot of exciting detail that really interests me. But what if that detail is not relevant to my client? So here's how I can make things easy on them, by having ChatGPT write up a too long, didn't read version for me. All I have to do is write a prompt that says something like, I'm going to share an email exchange with you between a client and myself. The client is asking a question and I'm providing an answer. Please help me shorten my answer to no more than two paragraphs, but please keep the writing style similar to my own. So I'll put that in, and then I'm going to also copy the entire email exchange below all of that. Then I'm going to hit enter. Let's see what ChatGPT can come up with. So, right away, it's already rewriting what I had to say. And, wow, I can already tell from reading it that it's basically the same information, but condensed into a more readable two paragraphs without all my musings. That's awesome. So let's try one more tweak. I know my client is not a researcher, and I want to ensure my response is simple and easy to understand. I actually learned way back in journalism school that a lot of news organizations like to keep their reading level around the seventh grade so that their content's easy to read. So I'm going to write this prompt, rewrite the above response as if the re uh, reader is a seventh grader. And there we go, it's rewriting it. Now I definitely want to check the response to ensure it's not trying to draw analogies to the sort of things that would resonate with a seventh grader, like gym class or uh, memes or anything like that. But it actually looks like it did a pretty good job of keeping things concise. That's wonderful. I just need to tweak this up, copy it, from my, or copy it from my client, and then hit send. Or, if I want to include all that detail, I could just say in summary above the ChatGPT piece, and then more detailed response above my original. That way, I get the best of both worlds. And I hope you got a useful tip. Please remember my ethical guideline is to let people know if you're using AI to author something, even if it's just a summary of your own work. Remember, too, to be careful about what you upload directly into ChatGPT and always disguise anything that's sensitive. If you enjoyed this, be sure to share it with someone else who can use it. And also hit the like button, subscribe to this channel, and leave a comment to share some of your fun tips for using ChatGPT. See you next time.